To finish up our game, we're going to add a power up. So I'm going to add a new sprite. So SPR to find sprite. I'm going to name that power up. Hit enter, and I'm just going to start that off the screen. And then load the power up image that we have. Then I can close the image editor. And the behavior we want for this is fades similar to the explosion. However, we do not want it to fade right away. So the explosion did not wait before it started to fade away. If you drag in the box, it does change the values. So be careful when you do that. So this faded away in one second, but it did not wait until it did. So we don't want it to fade in, but we do want it to wait a few seconds, maybe like four or five, somewhere around there. And if you don't get it in that amount of time, it'll start to fade out. So this will give you a total of five seconds to pick up the power up before it disappears. Then we need to have the power up show up when we destroy a monster. So that's going to be in the event sheet. So under monster, where our bullet has a collision with a monster, we're going to add a new condition because we don't want this to happen every time. So instead of adding action, we're going to do, we're going to right click on the green arrow because if I right click on this, it just adds another condition to the same thing. But I want a sub condition. So I can do add a sub event. So a sub event only happens when the first one happens. So it'll only happen when a bullet hits a monster. So and then our condition is going to be system, we're going to compare two values, and we're going to do random 5. So we're going to give it a 1 in 5 chance, and then we're going to do less than or equal to 1. If you wanted a 2 in 5 chance, you do less than or equal to 2. Now this does not pick a whole number it picks a decimal number so it might pick 3.42 this case that'd be false but if it picks 0 0.25 then that'd be a yes so it could be anything between 0 and 4.9999999999 and everything is evenly distributed so one or less makes it exactly 20 percent so i can hit done and then you'll see that this event is indented, which means it only happens when this happens. So on our one in five chance, we're gonna have the bullet create a power up. So I'm gonna have the bullet spawn another object. That's gonna be the power up and hit done. If I test that after I shoot a couple monsters, we should see a power up show up but not on all the monsters. And there we go. So sometimes you'll get a couple in a row, sometimes you'll go eight or 10 without one. It's all random, so you can't really predict it. But we know it's working. So next, we're going to go into controls, because we're going to go and do, handle player controls. And we're going to add a new event for when the player picks up the power-up. So collision with another object, the power-up. Well, we want the power-up to go away, so we'll destroy it. And then we're going to add to our power-up value. We are not tracking that yet, so... I'm going to right click at the bottom to add a global variable and also click add in the very bottom right to add a global variable and I'm going to call that rapid for rapid fire and I'm going to start it at zero. So, so now we see it there and whenever I get the power up I'm going to add one to that value so I'm going to do a system add to rapid I'm going to get an extra one. Then for the auto fire, let's go ahead and do this wrong so we can learn a lesson from it. I'm going to add an event 
and we'll do a system every x seconds and then I want it to be one second per power up so one divided by rapid so if my power up is one it'll be every one second if my power up is two one divided by two will be a half second so the more I get the faster it will shoot so I can hit done and then I just want it to shoot so that's gonna be the same as whenever I click the mouse button so I'm gonna copy that and paste it and that's gonna add the player shoot every one second so let me run this get a power up and see if that works it's not going to spoilers we go we got our power up and nothing happened if I get a second power up still nothing happened so what happened is this crashed the very first time we ran it because we got a divide by zero since we start rapid at zero first time this ran he got a divide by zero error so then the game just ignored this which is good for construct to not make it crash but it makes it harder to find bugs like that so instead, I'm going to add an event, and I'm going to check my variable, compare variable, and make sure that rapid is greater than zero. Then this needs to be a sub-event for that. So I'm going to drag it down to where it's underneath it, but then I'm going to drag it to the right so that it's indented. See the green line got indented underneath the condition? Now that's a sub-event, so this will only happen if rapid is one or more so now if i run it it should work fine so i'm not clicking and you'll see that it fires every however many seconds now that I've got a couple, it shoots a little faster. And the farther I go, the quicker it should fire. We didn't disable clicking, so if you click, it can go even a little faster, or maybe even shoot a couple at the same time. And now our game is complete.